Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this typographic animation in After Effects without using any plugin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation as always. Width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30 seconds and duration is 1.4 days. And I'll choose background color as a black. Hit OK. Now choose uh, this choose grid and guide option and then title save action. Now press Ctrl T for selecting text layer or now I will type one text called typography for the font I will choose nexa bold uh, I will choose a black white color sorry and I will disable these two options and all text layers should be in caps I will increase the font size just like this now go to this windows panel animation composer anchor point mover and align that anchor point to the center now open this align tab align this text horizontally first and then vertically now duplicate this typographic layer and what i'll do is i'll go to this character tab and i'll de delete this fill and instead of fill I'll use stroke and stroke should be 5 I think looks good let's see this yeah that looks ok to me now for the stroke I'll hit P at 0 frame I'll create one keyframe I'll zoom in a little bit and at 1 second I'll move it towards the upward now again hit Control D press U to see those three frames and here I'll increase this size not size actually position again hit Control D or type P for positioning I'll increase this size again hit Control D and press P so we can see this Now press Ctrl D and I'll move this downwards to P for positioning and I'll adjust this position like this. Again hit Ctrl D for positioning. For the seventh one, I'll choose downwards. Again hit Ctrl D. For the last one, I'll adjust this position. Again hit Ctrl D and adjust the last in position like this so yes this looks cool now hit U to, to see all those keyframes now what I will do is I will select this keyframes I will move it over here hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes go to this graph editor select this handles and adjust this graph editor as we can see I'll just adjust this viewport just like that uh, I think we should we need to increase adjust this like this yes that looks cool to me now what we will do is we will select all these layers hit ctrl shift c and hit text now press ctrl shift d delete this portion 
hit Ctrl D, move it over here and right click on it, go to this time option and time reverse here. Yes, so our animation will look like this. Now what I'll do is I'll select these two keyframes, press Ctrl Shift C and I'll call it as text animation. Now I'll now again press Ctrl Shift D and delete this portion. Hit Ctrl D and move it over here. Again go to this at the 10 seconds again hit ctrl d and move this over here so our animation will be in repeating mode just like that now again select all these layers press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as final animation So our animation looks like this. So what we'll do is go to this mem and just swap these colors. So now if we see our animation will look like this. Now again we will select this two layers. And hit Ctrl Shift C. I'll call it as Map Animation. Now hit Ctrl D up to five times. I'll apply effect called Fill. I'll copy this effect for the third one, for the fourth one, and for the fifth one also. For the second one. I choose this instead. I think the red is okay for the second one. I choose purple for the fourth one. I choose blue and for the last one, I choose green color. Now, create by hitting Ctrl Y, I choose background. move it downwards now select this last four layers and mode i'll choose screen
Thank you for watching this tutorial guys. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel. Until then, stay tuned.